Hello, everybody. This is Donna Bells. Welcome back from our Let's Play Majora's Mask. Link, you better wake your ass up. We've got shit to do. And I know it's 3 a.m., but wake up! You and your cute little bunny ears. All right, so as I was exiting the Deku Shrine, I realized that I had an errand to do here in the Deku Palace, so I'm just gonna go do that real quick because after the temple, I, you know, had some stuff to do, and I'm just gonna work my way from the back of the swamp to the front with the, all my errands and stuff to do after exiting the temple and such. So, that's what we're doing. I think you better get on that lily pad. Thank you, sir. I've had enough lily pad shenanigans to last me a, a lifetime over these past two weeks. <laughs> you guys, I'm still watching your contest entries, so just be patient with me. I can't watch too many at a time because it's just like rotting my brain right now. <laughs> Not that your videos aren't are bad or anything, it's just, Watching the same thing over and over. You gotta be patient with me, okay? It's gonna take a little time for me to get through them all. All right, so what we're gonna do is talk to the bean man. Mm, so you like my magic beans and come back to buy more? It's 10 rupees for one paw. Mm -mm, gotta love those magic beans. We're gonna need two magic beans. Man, I wish I could do the whistling S sound like the old man in Family Guy, but I can't. Ugh, it's so funny. I can't even whistle right, actually. Like, I mean, I can. See? But that's like me sucking the air in my lips instead of blowing it out like normal. <laughs> oh god, I shouldn't be talking about that. Good lord. Alright, so let's get caught and get out of here. Usually, you can actually get the beans from the business scrub at the front of the, the swamp at the boathouse. But since I've already talked to him in the past three days and sent him on his way to Clock Town because I gave him the, uh, the land title deed, he's not there anymore, so I can't take advantage of his business. Meh. Oh well, at least there's the bean guy, so no sweat off my back. Anyway, I take this way, the shortcut, because we are going to that big overgrown green pineapple right there. And of course, there's this little handy dandy grotto here, and if you need to stock up on supplies, then go ahead and do that right now. Um, but I already have everything, so we should be good. And as you can see, there is a spider web on the door. So we need to burn that down with a Deku stick. And I already have one that's been used. You can see the scorch marks on it and everything. It's probably the same one I used in the temple. Link, you and your eco-friendly conservative self. Who lives in a pineapple inside the swamp. Puppies and spiders. Don't hate the puppy. Oh, I hate spiders. This guy looks like he's having a bad day. Ah, uh, help me. I am not a monster. The spider's curse, it made me this way. I beg of you in here. Find them all, the cold ones, the cursed spiders. Defeat them quickly. And when you defeat them, don't forget the spider token. It contains the spider spirit. Ugh. Oh god, that voice freaked even me out. Look at his claw hand. It's going to eat you. Ah! Alright, so we have to get a few little baby spiders in some bottles so we can grow big, scary monster spiders. Ugh. But then we can kill them and take their souls. So it's all good. If you hate spiders, this is definitely a place to conquer your fears and just get over it. Something I noticed recently when I was practicing through this, that is a map of this place. Isn't that cool? I never noticed that before. I can't believe it. As much as I hate all these spiders in here, I love the design of this place and like the details and everything. Like take the design around this dirt plot, for example. We are going to let out our baby spiders and plant them in the dirt to grow a big giant spider, but you see the design around it? The yellow is supposed to look like a spider web and the brown and green is supposed to look like two trees. So it's like a spider is popping out of the spider web, which is really, really cool. And I just noticed that last time that I was playing this and it's the same thing on the other side. It's these little details like that that make it really, really cool. Oh, yeah, we have to come back out here like two more times just to get some more baby spiders to plant them. And it's a little bit more convenient when you have like a couple more bottles and some more items, but it's just so easy to do this right now. It may take a tiny bit longer, but it's really not that big of a deal. I just like getting it over with. 
And the sooner we get it over with, the sooner we get the mask that w is a reward for finishing it. And see, there's the spider web and the uh, trees that are holding it. So cool. I think it's really awesome that they put, like, super creepy stuff in this game. Like, a whole house full of spiders. Because so many people have, like, huge phobias of bugs and spiders alone. Like me. It's pathetic. I see you, spider! In the water there. How do you not drown? That's ridiculous. But yeah. Like, spiders alone. That is something a lot of people have a hard time dealing with. Like, it's huge fear. And I think it's really cool that they put this in here because, um, it kind of has to do with... You know, getting over your fears and dealing with it yourself. And I know this game, like, Link is trying to fix everyone else's problems and make everything better in, Tami in Termina. But, um, he has his own problems to deal with, too. Like, remember at the beginning of the game... I'm waiting for that spider. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, remember at the beginning, he's actually searching for somebody himself. And, spoiler alert, just so you know, cover your ears for the next 30 seconds. In the end... He doesn't really ever find that friend. And, um, it's just something that he has to deal with and overcome and, um, deal with himself. And it may have to do with death, I don't know, because the end of the game has to do with death. And you never know, his friend might have died. And it's just something that he has to deal with himself. Overcoming that fear. Something that's not scary is that cute little sleepy deco scrub. <laughs> Sleeping here like a lazy fool. Oh my gosh, Tattle. You are so negative. I think he's cute. His little sleep bubbles and everything. How are you sleeping with his eyes open? I don't know. Alright. I know getting those spiders and those, uh, those big, uh, what are these? Pottery things? Link, I'm sorry you can't destroy them completely, but you can get the spiders out of there by bumping into them. Link and his fetish with breaking pottery, I swear. <laughs> but you have to, like, roll into them straight on. Oh my gosh! Eh! I meant to do that with one fell swoop of my <laughs> my spin attack, but I guess it just didn't work. Alright, there's two more up here. This is why you're gonna need some arrows. They're very good to have. Because we're gonna need to shoot a couple of these guys down. If not, you can always use your, uh, no, I wouldn't recommend going in here without arrows, actually. I think that the two we're gonna need is this one, and then the one, like, right across from it. Two over. Yeah! Let me get the other one. Please don't be the wrong one! Because if you shoot the wrong one, a hornet will come out and chase you, and it's scary, and I don't like it. Yay! I got them both on the first try! Okay, Link. Spin attack! Yeah! Wouldn't it be crazy if you were trying to hit down some wasps' nests and a big huge spider came out? That would be a total mind fuck. <laughs> Alright, so, the most important thing that Tattle was saying about this guy was that he was asleep, so... No, wait, that's not right. Yay, I did it! That was all from memory, folks. I'm pretty proud of myself. Whenever anything is asleep in this game, you have to wake it up with the Sonata of Awakening. And there he goes. He's so quiet, soft shooing around this room. It makes me think that they forgot to put in the sound effects there, or the game is like glitching out and just not playing them. But I always think that's pretty funny. All right, now that we have our handy dandy Deku flower, let's fly up here. And I am going to just dump off a couple of those baby spiders again because see, there's another plot right over here. If any of them are on the wall, you know you're going to need those baby spiders. And this is the way I always do it every time because later in the game, you're going to have to be, or later in this temple, you're going to have to be carrying water. And if you only have one bottle, it's kind of just convenient to get all these little baby spider things out of the way so you don't have to be carrying around more spiders. And... <laughs> Out pops the big mama spider. <laughs> kill it! It's much easier to kill these guys with, um, with Deku Link. Dinky poo. Because he just spins right into them, and I feel like whenever I try to slash them as regular Link with the sword, I always get hurt. Now notice these little designs around the doors. To me, they look like monkeys. That's my opinion. You can kind of look, see, like, their heads and their tails and everything when you, like, really look at them. But I'll point that out probably later. 
And see, this is also where I noticed that there's a map on the wall and where I noticed the spider web in, the, in between the two trees. It's just something that I never really noticed when I was younger, all these little details about games, but I, as you know, I'm older and I love to appreciate the details that the game makers put into them. And of course, there's spiders on the doors. 